Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while that video was, is loading, I started playing around and found out really a quicker way to do this. It may even look better. So this is the text. I'm going to go and control K or break apart. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to convert them to curves. Then I'm going to move this C about where I want it. And I'm going to left click, no fill, right click outline. And then you could actually, depending if you want this look or not, we're not going to do that, but you've got the boundary tool with both selected, you can create a boundary. Now let's cursor that boundary out of the way. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Let's cursor a boundary out of the way and I'm, I'm just moving it with the, my nudge tool. So we're going to cut three times at 0 0.02 to the outside. Then I'm going to go and break that apart, but I'm going to nudge them all back. And you see what it did. You could actually take this away because now you can color this in. Now it's not going to have the effect of the first video showing white between them, but it is a pretty cool effect. Take your smart fill tool and fill in that one and fill in that one. And you've got almost that same look. And with this outline, we'll cursor it over. We'll break it apart, ungroup it, take the very out outline, nudge it over. We'll go ahead and put it down. And we're going to make it something other than a hairline so it will not, it, so it will engrave. And then we can nudge it up. And there you have an outline around it's almost the same effect this is pretty cool and really really fast to use the boundary tool anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching